we were looking for a, a safe place for the girls because of the security problems, the gangs, and it's it's horrific what's happened. The, what I see in the news is not even a quarter of how bad it is. It's we hear hear stories from from our friends. So we were looking for a safe place, and um, my colleague here, he and his wife were on vacation in in Belize in February, January, February. So they thought they loved it in Belize. And they met a couple of people here, so they called them, and that sort of started the discussion. They're fully supported, so there's going to be no burden on anyone in Belize. We've we've shown uh, we've had people on the ground here through one of the Mennonite colonies. Um, he, we don't know the people politically here, so he helped connect us a number of people, and we've assured them. We've shown them records, financial records. So we've been supporting the ministry for many years in Haiti, and we've got this record of financial support that will continue t to support the family here. So there's no, there's no cost to anyone on the ground here. I'm one of the board members for an organization called Beauty Out of Ashes. They've been around for about five, six years in Haiti, and they've basically um, provided a home, and a couple from our church went down to head that, um, a home for girls who were called Restavax there. So basically sold by their family into domestic slavery, if you want to call it that. There are about 200,000 young kids in Haiti like that. So we just helped 12. There's actually 13, and um, three of them are going, just finishing high school right now in the northwest of the United States. They're getting high school accreditation so that they can go on to college and university, because that was not available to them. That level of education was not available in, in Haiti with the security problems that have been going on. So there are nine girls coming in, as well as um, a couple who are originally from the same church where I am in Western Canada.